Weber set himself a formidable task. People of Britain, I'm here to speak to you about a subject of considerable gravity. To turn around the UK's bad fortunes at Eurovision. Because the UK is no point. He jetted round Europe on a PR tour, concluding with a reassuring chat with Russian Prime Minister Putin. Can Russia vote for Britain? Yeah. Andrew decided to not only find the acts for you to choose to represent the UK this year, but to compose the song with award-winning songwriter Diane Warren. Was a lot of pressure. Writing a song for Eurovision is not my day job. It was an extraordinary risk for Lloyd Webber to take. Andrew has definitely put his name and his reputation and himself on the line here. It's a pretty courageous or mad thing to do. And the hardest part is still to come. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. The pressure is on. If it goes terribly wrong on the night, then you'll just join those hundreds of other Eurovision acts who end up on compilation tapes of the worst of Eurovision. That's all. If she wins, it's a big kickstart to a big career ahead of her. And if she doesn't win, it's a big blow. Please welcome our Euro hopefuls. In January, we offered you, the British public, six acts to choose who you'd like to represent the UK. Emperors of Soul, Damien, Jade, Mark, Charlotte, and the Twins. On the final, it came down to the Twins from Sheffield and Jade from East London. Only one of you will sing at the Eurovision Song Contest. Almost my only chance and my only hope of making things better for my family. And I really will try and make them proud. Like, if anyone wants to do this, it really is me. You decided it was Jade's time. Jade! <laughs> It was an overwhelming moment for her and her family. You make me cry. I'm the guilty one. Oh, well done. For once in my life, I'm lost for words. So, uh, um, absolutely delighted. If I could see where I was going, I probably would have jumped down there and grabbed her on stage straight away. Because I was so excited. So, so proud. It's the morning after the night before. Yesterday, Jade won Your Country Needs You, watched by millions of people. She's been signed to an international record label. She's about to do a live Radio 1 interview. And she's made it into all the national newspapers. Not going to be able to carry all of this. <laughs> But her feet are firmly on the ground. Jade's back at her mom and dad's in East London. Jade's sitting here eating mom's toast. <laughs> Certainly there's nothing else to do. No, <laughs> Her dad, Trevor, is blind, and her mom, Carol, partially blind. But Jade's always had the support she needed. It was actually tough to put everything into the children. You know, it did make life difficult. We worked as hard as we could to make sure that Jade had the opportunities to uh, do what she uh, needed to do to get where she is now. Well, she comes from a family where everything possible was being thrown at them, and through adversity, they've come completely through. I mean, it's quite clear that every penny that they've ever got from anywhere has gone in the children's education. They clearly imbued in her something which is unusual today and is a quite wonderful thing to see. Jade sings her way to Europe. Jade started singing when she was about seven, and she hasn't stopped since. I found it very frustrating when she would dance on stage, and I, obviously uh, I, I couldn't see what was going on. But um, when it came to the singing, then I was in my own element then, as a father of bias, but I think it, she's got a magic voice. At times, I think Jade was getting a little bit down, because at every corner she turned, she seemed to uh, hit a brick wall. It was just a, just general um, encouragement, really, by saying that have belief in yourself. I'm sure one day you will make it. I believe it, and you should believe in it yourself. And uh, whatever happens, you are a star anyway. This is 
Radio 1. Chappers and Day. On the other end of this call should be a Eurovision representative who won last night Your Country Needs You. Jade? Hello? You must just feel on top of the world this morning. I do. I can't believe it. I'm just waiting for someone to say it was a joke, honestly, because I thought, nah, no way. <laughs> I'm really happy. <laughs> the song's good. Your voice is amazing. Does it, oh, thank that's you. That's a pleasure. Does it worry you, though, that as a country we are kind of despised in Eurovision? You're right. I yeah. think maybe you should go have a word, actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, with our, with our endorsement, Jade, we think that you can go all the way, you know, and, and bring, the, bring the trophy <laughs> back. All the best and good luck. No. Let's face it, we will have a mountain to climb to win it. Um, Jade is halfway up that mountain. What happens on the night, I don't know, and I think it's very hard for Britain to win at the moment. The UK can't vote for its own entry, so Jade's jetting off on a European tour to drum up as much support as she can. <laughs> Go UK! <laughs> We've never gone out of this country and promoted the record. Uh, kind of arrogantly, I think, believe that our song was great, we're in the UK, it will be fine. And what we decided with Jade was that we'd got somebody that we really thought was a star that we could take all over Europe and be proud of her. Well, we're on the plane now, going to Malta. It's been exactly four days since I won the show, and I'm still a bit like, oh my God, like caught up in a whirlwind, but I think it's starting to sink in now, and I'm, I'm getting my serious focus representing the UK hat on. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've ever been to a European country. I've never really done that much flying before because, like, my family just don't have the money to go on holidays and that, and, like, with my dad having the guide dog and all that stuff, it's just never been part of our sort of lifestyle. And, you know, if we do have money, it'll go on food or stuff, normal stuff to survive rather than luxuries like holidays and that. So it's just nice to be able to go and explore and see things I, I would never normally get the opportunity to go and see. Malta is a small Mediterranean island with a population of just 400,000. So Jade's looking forward to an intimate TV studio for her first performance as the UK's Eurovision entry. But she's in for a shock. Oh gosh, I can see the seats already. <laughs> they didn't try and like ease me in, did they? <laughs> just threw me in at the deep end. I think you should look at how big this is. Turn around and have a look at what I'm seeing and what I'm going to have to sing to. Tonight, these seats will be jam-packed with 5,000 very excited Maltese. And this is nothing in comparison to what it's going to be like in Moscow. That's what I keep thinking. Getting on the roads, touring around Europe is the best way to help promote yourself. As long as she's getting out there and, and doing the hard work at the beginning, hopefully that will help. So when people around Europe hear the song, they'll be like, ah, I know that song. Let me put a little vote in for the UK this year. And I just want to do it again. <laughs> just as well, because that's one down. There's still 12 countries to go. Muy romántica. Su título es My Time. My Time. Will be My Time. My Time. Time. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Que musiquito, Andrew Lloyd Webber. I'll show you what I'm made of. Que libre here, good luck. Tracy Wentz, la familia Tracy. been on tour, so I think that's been a really good thing. She's a well-oiled machine before she goes to Russia. I think, if anything, has made people in these countries start to realise that we had a bit more respect for the competition, and maybe we didn't in the past. The combination of better songwriter, better song, woman who's working very hard, singing and all over the Europe, is very good for Britain. She is a complete pro. The way she's been to all of these countries, and every single country she's been to, comes back with, we're going to vote for her. They love her out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jade flew back into the UK late last night, and after a few hours sleep, it's straight back to work. She's in the studio, adding the final tweaks to her My Time single. Here's a story which 
I haven't seen before in a long time in a recording studio, if ever. We were doing some vocals and she was very hungry. So we sent out to the supermarket around the corner and around came a whole load of cupcakes in one of those plastic containers. And I mean, you could tell she was absolutely ravenous. She opened it up and she offered it to everybody in the studio first before she took one. And I thought, my goodness, I know stars in my time who would just take that on the knee, you know, guzzle, guzzle. This kid, no. Uh, her instinct was to ask if everybody else was okay. And that went straight into the memory bank. And I hope she doesn't change because right now she is the easiest and loveliest performer to work with that you could dream of. It's early March. Morning! <laughs> and today, Jade's going to live out one of her dreams. It's all very exciting! Filming her first music video shoot. Today, we've started at the crack of dawn. I think we're up at about five o'clock. People probably won't get home until about one or two, so it's a long day. Uh, Jade, you came in too early. Start walking later. You wake up and you know that everybody's come here to do a job and there's lots of people involved and it's very important and there's a massive amount of work that goes into this so you don't want to let anybody down. You're under pressure to deliver and obviously do the song justice. Hope that I'm living up to expectations. Yeah, so Jane, I think um, let's just change one thing at a time. Moments like this, you know, you think, wow, this is my time. I know it sounds really cheesy, but it's my song. It's for me. Everybody here is for me. It's a, it's a strange thing, but nice. A nice feeling. She might be singing my time, but right now it's more time she needs. Jade's diary, Jade's schedule is incredibly packed. We're having to do the stills for the single cover at the same time as the video. So I'm literally grabbing her for 10 or 15 minutes whenever I can in breaks between filming. Okay, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Thank you very much, Jade. Uh, it's all right, we'll come back. Guys, quick as you can. She's more than the girl next door, and she's not a diva in terms of her character or demands or personality. Oh, I like those. Really, really amazing. Oh, thank you very much. So that's the My Time video, done and dusted then. Uh, that's all right. Well, not exactly. Unfortunately, there was just one small oversight. They forgot to make sure Andrew was happy before they filmed it. And he's just watched the final cut. I hated the video. It didn't show her at all. No, I didn't like the video. Having her rolling up to some country house, it's got to be about her. It's my time is what the song's called. It's not called I'm going in a limo to a country house and then I'm going to walk around it looking kind of rather vacuous and a rather expensive dress. I want it to be a performance video. She sings wonderfully live, and I think the video's got to reflect that. It's a remarkable thing about Andrew Lloyd Webber. His attention to detail is beyond anyone I've ever met. His involvement on this song has been beyond the call of duty. I've never seen anyone as passionate as, as he is. If it's Andrew Lloyd Webber's project, and he sees it being done in a certain way, it will be done like that, or it's not going to happen. I, I think it's very important for the video to be a performance video. Andrew has demanded a complete reshoot of the My Time video. Everything must be shot from scratch. It's another full-on day for an exhausted Jade and a strain on her already fit to bursting schedule. I am really tired. I've been up since 3.30. I was in bed at about 10, but I was just laying at the ceiling and then thinking, <gasps> and you just panic and you get so worried about that you're, the fact that you're not sleeping that you end up not sleeping. So, yeah, tired. Let's do it. Let's stand by. When Lord Webber turns up, it's always guaranteed to get people a bit flustered. Let's all be ready, folks. Let's get ready to shoot right now. And as if that's not enough pressure for everyone, he's decided to be in it. Yeah, I'm going to play a bit, see what it looks like. They can cut me out if they don't like me. I think that's unlikely. Clear the back, don't buy the Andrew's a busy man. He's also working on another major project and can only be at the shoot for an hour. The pressure keeps piling on. 
but I, I really have got to go by three, so I really absolutely have to. Okay, let's do it. Okay. With time so precious, the last thing anyone wants is technical problems. Should we be seeing a picture, Scott? How are we doing on that background? How are we doing? Time's nearly up, and it doesn't look like Andrew's sticking around much longer. Let's do it. Gotta go, folks. Half again. Yay. Okay, right. The picture is up. Thank you. Good. Sorry about the delay, folks. Here we go. Stand by. Thank you, Andrew. I'm rolling. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. 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 you're a star, oh, as ever. You. Andrew is here, and it was all very rushed and hectic because they had to get him off because he's doing Love Never Dies at the moment, and we have to be out of the theatre at five because they've got Phantom on tonight. So it was all a bit manic, but I think it went really well, actually. It was nice looking around and seeing him on the piano, sort of smiling and nodding along. And that's a wrap, everybody. Well done, Jay. Very good. We are finished. That's it now. Video's done, so I just have to wait and see when they edit it. And the next time you guys see it, it will, it will be on the TVs, on the music stations, which is cool. But Jade won't be able to hide behind her music video on the night. She needs to perform the song live. In previous years, there's been some disturbingly animated routines. The idea is not to impose some story on the whole thing. She's going to be performing at Eurovision. She's a great live performer. If all else fails, we could get Andrew Lloyd Webber and Graham Norton to sumo wrestle around Jade Hello. on ice skates. Thankfully, Katrina won't be choreographing Jade's performance. Andrew's brought in staging supremo Arlene Phillips to do the job. Although probably best known for her judging on Strictly Come Dancing, Arlene has choreographed numerous West End shows and pop acts from Elton John to Whitney Houston. It'll just be you, the piano, the violins, the staircase. Jade, I think, looks wonderful anyway, and I think the simpler, the better for her, particularly with this song. So gimmicks are definitely out for Moscow then, Andrew. And then Andrew will be playing the piano somewhere over there. Ah, apart from you playing on stage. <sighs> The thing about Eurovision choreography is so much of it is bad. This is a song, it's about her, and it's about a voice. And I'll tell you, when a voice captures your heart, it beats any choreography, and I love dance. Well, thanks for clearing that up, Arlene. Look out to the audience. I think there's something like 15,000 people in the audience and another 100 million at home. I think this is really daunting for Jay. At start, sure, well, that's easy. It isn't easy. I think it's harder than she thought. OK, we're going to do that again. Jade, if you're going to make an arm movement, it's real. It means something. The time between now and May is crucial in just absorbing and picking up everything I possibly can so that by the time we get to Eurovision, I give an amazing, perfect performance. <laughs> it's vital that she is acting the words as well as singing them. I definitely feel a tremendous amount of pressure because it's the year of change and Andrew and the song and, you know, there's a lot put on this. It's almost easier when people don't expect anything from you because then you can't disappoint. You know, now I feel everyone's got this big expectation. I can't really afford to give anything less than amazing. And they'll be like, oh, we told you so. So I am nervous about that, definitely. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah. The hopes of the United Kingdom are riding on Jade. <laughs> And that's got to be a lot for a young girl to, to carry with her. There is so much build-up to being the singer that's going to represent your country in the Eurovision Song Contest. And as much as you might think it's just the Eurovision Song Contest, there's still an incredible amount of pressure from yourself, your band, your label, your country, the people in the audience, the several hundred million watching you at home and you just think, please don't let me fall. Please don't let me just freeze. With Moscow on the horizon, the enormity of the task ahead is really starting to sink in, and the clock is ticking. I just get scared of failure. There's so, so much pressure on Andrew's writing the song, and everyone's saying, you know, if we're going to win, it's going to be this year, and I just don't want to let everyone down and be like, oh, 
you know, she's another one that didn't do well. Andrew's going to be on the stage on the night. She's in one sense, it's great because I feel like I'm not on my own. But on the other hand, it's like if I sort of make a mistake or anything, he's only a look away. I'll be able to see exactly his reaction and everything. This is my life and my career on the line and my reputation as well as Andrew's. And I don't really want to do fifth, fifth place. Like, I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. Jay decides to seek some advice from someone who knows exactly how it feels to perform in front of the whole of Europe. How are you? I'm really well. Oh, good to see you. You too. I bet you're running mad. Tonight. Yeah, it is a bit nuts, but it's crazy. crazy. What is it like? I keep trying to imagine. You go out and there's billions, gazillions of people watching at home and they're all loving you because you're giving them all you have. No, I think you're right, because if you start thinking about how many people and the numbers and everything. It just Overthinking, gets too much, Overthinking, yeah. yeah. So everybody talks about that nervous thing and I think maybe we shouldn't talk about it anymore. That's what I said. I Stop like, talking about it. It makes me nervous talking yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> but the main thing is you love it. You've got all the ingredients and you've worked very hard. Now is your payoff time. So that could be work until you're my age, darling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a long, long <laughs> way away. And this year, no Neil Poir. We're all with you, I'm with you, the whole country's behind you, and hopefully the whole of Europe is behind you. So go out there, get it. I will try my very best. <laughs> oh, oh, Lulu, lovely to see you again. Oh, lovely to see you. Thank you for your advice. It's the 23rd of March, 2009, and it's no normal Monday morning for our UK entry. Today sees the first radio airplay of my time. Coming up shortly, Jade Ewan, for the first time on radio. UK's entry in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. It's also a rare opportunity to catch up with her mum and dad. I'm excited about this year's Eurovision because I think we've, we've worked harder to make our song a winner this year than we have in many years previously. Let's see if we can please just win it this once. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please, Joe. Do you want um, some biscuits, Dad? Uh, no, something historic. We have the very first play on UK radio. This year's Eurovision entry. I wonder if Andrew's listening. This year, I think it's possible. Maybe we might just do it. Great, great, song. Song. great singer, Jade Ewan, who I believe may just be listening to this this morning. <laughs> UK radio. If anything can do it, we hope this can. Is it time for It's My Time? Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> She can certainly sing it, no <laughs> doubt about that. It's my time. Jade Ewan sings it for the UK in Moscow this year. We're pulling out all the big guns because Andrew Lloyd Webber is actually going to play piano on stage. It's like that. And if things get really desperate, I'm getting the drum kit out. <laughs> <laughs> if only all journalists could be as supportive as Ken Bruce. The media holds an important role in Jade's campaign, but unfortunately, Eurovision's somewhat tainted image with the UK press means Jade's got a tough PR job to do. There's more of a drive and a goal to do well this year. Magazines, newspapers, radio and TV stations are all eager to hear exactly what our UK entry has to say. Now, are we going to win this thing or what? Yes, I am going to try. I'm all or nothing, so I want to win and bring it back for us. Thank you and good luck to Jade Ewan and, of course, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. It's like having a list and being able to say, yep, done this, done that show, been to that country. It's actually quite nice. And it's all happened in under three months, which I keep having to like pinch myself about because it feels like I've had a year's worth of experiences already. Are you excited? Are you scared? Or what are you exactly? I'm excited, definitely. Slightly nervous, just because the idea of 120 million people watching me is not an easy thought. It's only 120 million? Countdown's over. Finally, Jade leaves for her flight to Moscow. She's really given herself a tough one. Can we win? Who knows? But honestly, I don't know how she could kind of calm that storm in her head. Jade is holding a tiger by the tail. 
If she doesn't do well enough, the UK press will go bonkers. She is one brave singer. I keep going in and out of panic. Occasionally, I have a moment of shock. That's really scary stuff. I can't believe I have to go and do this next Saturday. And all this build-up has been for this. And effectively, my whole life story and journey has been building up to this moment. Sometimes it's just too much to sort of digest that I go into shock. Oh, look. Is that the stadium? This year in Moscow, it's going to be a circus. And I think there's going to be an awful lot of focus on Jade. Jade, can you send a flex, please? I've been in that stadium, and it's overwhelming. Wow. When you see that. <laughs> I can't imagine what will be going through her head. Gosh. It just looks ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. I'm sort of lost for what to say. <laughs> the reality definitely sinks in now. There's an incredible amount of pressure when you're doing this kind of thing. I, I think I wrote the best song I possibly could. I think she's the best possible artist for it. But what happens on the night, I don't know. <sighs> for Jade, you just get the one go and it's live and it's all riding on that moment. It really scares me when I try and picture what it's going to look like, because every single one of these seats are going to be filled. It's going to look like a sea of heads of people. Of course there's a lot of pressure on her, but, I mean, what can you say? This kid is amazing. My goal is to win. I definitely want to win. I want to come out on top, and I want to bring back victory back to the UK. Oh, my God! This is all what it's been for, so next time you see me, it will be the real deal. So, wish me luck. <laughs>《Behind You Jade》and it all begins in a little over an hour. Graham Norton is your guide for the Eurovision Song Contest, but before that, John Barrowman is making more dreams come true. Tonight's the night, next on BBC One.